Verse 13, greater love. Greater love has no one than this. God's saying to you, you're not going to be loved this much. Greater love has no one than this. Again, what are these words about? (laughs) Greater love has no one than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. God's saying, I want to be your friends. I hope these words don't just go, oh yeah, God is my friend. Like, I hope you're just stunned by this. (laughs) He's going, I want you to live in me. I call you friends, verse verse, uh, 15, is it? No longer do I call you servants, because a servant doesn't know what his master is doing. I've called you my friends. For all that I've heard from my father, I've made known to you. He goes, this is what I see you as. Here's here's what I want to get at. His point. You know, he says, just as the father has loved me, so have I loved you. And he says, look, I want you to abide in my love. And he says, and you abide in me when you obey my commands. But then he says, what is my command? Verse 12, this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Okay, why do we do everything we do as churches and try to get to know each other and really pour into each other's lives? Because it's commanded. He goes, look, you can abide in my love, just obey my commands. And he goes, what's my command? Here's my command. Love one another as I have loved you. Remember earlier he says, even as the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now I want you to do that to one another. I want you to love each other as much as I love you. I know we come here and it's not like we don't love each other you know, or have some sort of feeling for each other. But what God wants is he wants this miracle to take place where I so accept the love of God that I am just beaming and I'm overflowing and it becomes natural for me to see you and go, okay, there's John, and it's just natural to love him as Jesus has loved me. As for me to see see Angel and go, okay, God, I want to love him as much as Jesus loved me. And this is the stuff that most of us weren't brought up with in church. It was do's and don'ts. And usually a church service was pretty, it was consumerism. Like you didn't come thinking, I'm going to show up to this group of people And I just want to serve them. I want to love them like Jesus has loved me. Is that your thought when you, quote unquote, go to church, whatever that means? Like you head to a church service and you're, are you in your mind thinking, God, just as you've loved me, let me love them. You know, Jesus' mindset, he says, I didn't come to be served. I came to serve and to give my life as a ransom for many. And then we call ourselves Christians. That means we are little Christ. So we should gather together. Okay, I don't come here to be served, but to serve and to give my life as a ransom for many. Just like Jesus loved me as much as the Father loved him. Now, God, let me show up with this mindset to love these people. 